Utah is a vast adventurer's paradise. And after spending a few days doing guided trail runs and vendor events in Moab, we were ready to get out on a real adventure. And as sometimes happens to us, we got more than we bargained for. Oh, tires off the ground. What had began as a simple day trip turned into a really awesome adventure. My name is Sean, and this is the story till now. All right, guys, we're out here just exploring around Moab. We're gonna try and head into this canyon near here, drop in there and see what's going on. We got Chris. We also got Wayne and Barbara here with us in their JL. We met them yesterday uh, at the CTI ramp and uh, they're camping at the same place with us and we're looking for something to do. So we just invited them to come along with us today. Yeah, thanks. Texas. Do you know where we're going? Uh, Wait, what is it, the Bills? No, Tom's? Casey's. Casey's. Casey's Canyon. <laughs> Casey's Canyon, let's Casey's go, Canyon, hey! Let's go. When you think of Moab, you might think of some of the famous rock crawling or slick rock trails, but you've seen all that a million times. What really excites me is the back routes, the roads less traveled. And that's where our adventure today begins as we head into a deep canyon along a steep shelf road. This is that crazy shelf road. Okay, I'm good to go. This place is awesome. Yeah, I was just about to say the same thing. Oh, we haven't even entered Hey Joe Canyon yet. Is this like a loop or do we go in and out? We go in and out. So look at these giant boulders that came down at one point. This is our kind of trail, eh, Casey? Yeah, this is definitely an exploration scenic trail. beautiful with these green trees in the middle here. This kind of feels like a small version of the Grand Canyon. Some might maybe call it a tall canyon. Was that a Starbucks joke? <laughs> Glad you got it. All right guys, we're just making our way through this canyon. It is crazy in here, look up. Look at these rocks. That is so high, we're gonna try and get up there. First, we gotta make our way all through this canyon. What do you think so far, Casey? This is kind of like I, the trails that we like. I, the I, really scenic. I think I see a line up there if we wanna get up to the top of the You canyon. see a line up there? Yeah. yeah, there's a line on the wall. <laughs> you think our winch lines will go that high? It's definitely dirty in here. Maybe a little dangerous back there. A we're dangerous, oh. We're both wearing our Dirty and Dangerous hoodies. <laughs> available at dirtyanddangerous.com. We've made our way to the canyon floor where there was beautiful green trees and bushes contrasting the red rock around us where at some times water flows through here. It was quite a unique environment, and I was just taking it all in as we drove through in awe of the towering canyon above. You're going to be uh, cutting to the right along this canyon as we go. Oh no, there's a gate here. Can we open it? I heard someone say if you come across a gate and it's closed, you're just supposed to go through and then close it on your way through. And that's my understanding as well, as long as it's not locked. I mean, when we're uh, closed up. 
gunners through. Along the river, the trail started to get a bit rougher, and I had a feeling that we were going to be in for a bit more excitement from here on out. This trail is uh, a little bit tighter than we expected to see here in Utah, but it's interesting. Ugh. I think we got that paint protection film. a big boulder sticking up here in the middle of the trail, so I'm, uh, I centered on it now. <laughs> Tires off the ground. Yeah, there we go. Not so stock friendly, hey? Stack some rocks, I'm gonna try and drive again, All real right. slow. Yeah, it's a bit of a big boulder. Yeah stuck in the middle of the trail there. Well, it looked like I might be, might have been able to get over it, but I think the rocks that were stacked here just kind of collapsed on me. One of the struggles that I've been having with the Bronco on this trip is its lack of ground clearance with only a factory suspension. I was constantly scraping frame, three-wheeling, or getting high set. Casey's gonna grab a rope and give me a little pull. That'll hopefully get it out of this hole that I'm in and we'll be on our way. Hopefully there's no more uh, big boulders pointing straight up the center of the trail. What do we got now? A lot of scrape marks on it. Oh yeah? Let me take a look. <laughs> oh yeah. I think you got to go like high up on the right side on that rock. Getting over this rock was no problem for Casey's JL, but I knew it was gonna be another difficult one for the Bronco. of inches of lift on the vehicle and it would go right over top of this. I really can't wait to get this thing lifted. This is turning into quite a lengthy day for <laughs> who are planning just a short, relaxing excursion. I think we're only halfway through this trail. We're gonna keep going for now. We are halfway from the split. Rear side 
exciting to see mountain goats. time to do some of these little passes. I feel like I'm back in BC. <laughs> it's a little scratchy up here. How much is a little? The trail was getting pretty tight, but we were so close to the end, I couldn't give up without seeing it all the way through. over top of my roof. I'm back in my vehicle. After plowing our way through branches for a while, it opened right up and we found ourselves at an old mining site in a wide open canyon. Woo! Alright guys, we made it to the end of the trail. It looks like this was an old mining site or something. There's some old uh, mining equipment down here. It looks like there might have been some structures here at one point. We're in this beautiful canyon. I'm going to take a look around and explore a little bit. There's uh, definitely... You gotta be comfortable with some branches. I think a stock Wrangler would be okay, but uh, I think the Bronco needs just a little bit of lift because of some of the yeah. uh, low points that you kind of got hung up on. Yeah, I scraped up the frame pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Casey? Can we wheel this thing out of here? I think we could drag it out. No, <laughs> no, I mean drive it. <laughs> what do you think this thing weighs? <laughs> I don't know. CABC model. HS winch. Oh, it's a winch. It's Look a, at this winch. It's a cargo winch. I do, I do need a winch for my Bronco. I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> you don't want to touch it? <laughs> you don't want to touch this rusty rope? What could happen? Just stroke it a little bit. Are you uh, up to date with your tetanus shots? <laughs> no. You need to climb up and uh, give her a drive? I don't know, man. You still got some pedals and handles here. Not well, sure if you're not going to do it, I'll do it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's nothing that makes me happier than finding some history on our adventures, and this was just the thing I needed after some busy days at Easter Jeep Safari. Getting away from the crowds and the long lines of Jeeps on the trails and all the people and just being out here exploring. That's what I love and really why I came out here. All right guys, as you can see, we gave the Bronco the standard story till now paint job. So now that you wheel with us, you're gonna need uh, one of these for sure. Do you have fun? Yeah, that was awesome. Perfect. 